All right, guys. It is not a spectacularly gorgeous, but it is a lovely Monday morning here in the collapse of everything. I think it is July 22nd, 2024. And uh, 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 okay, guys, I'm 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 not making any promises that this will happen. But I'm going to try to make this the last comment I have on this absolute distraction of a horse race developing, uh, coming into the final stretch in November. This little dog and pony show that makes zero difference to the trajectory of this planet. So, if, if, if there's anybody thinking that anything I'm getting ready to say means that I am confused about this fact, that it makes zero difference to the collapse of this planet, whether Donald Trump or Kamala Harris uh, is, is in the White House uh, starting in November. I want to disabuse you of that notion. <clears throat> And if you were suffering any delusion that having Kamala Harris in the White House is going to do anything on any level to turn this freight train around, you need to disabuse yourself of that notion. It makes no fucking difference. Which one of these losers, uh, these planet-killing losers, are in the White House? No difference. It's frying pan or the fire. Okay, so I, I, I want to fully make that amplification and clarification. I am not a clueless fucking moron uh, believing uh, that whichever one of these jackasses uh, gets in the White House... Uh, makes a damn difference. <clears throat> so you don't need to leave that comment that I'm suffering from Trump delusion, what is it called, Trump derangement syndrome or Kamala derangement syndrome because I admit I'm suffering from a little bit of both. All right, but all that aside, I'm just making my prediction. So the, the, the day that Joe Biden threw his hat in the ring however many months ago was the day that I predicted that Donald Trump was going to win by a landslide. There is one person and I and I'm not and I haven't changed course on this. There is one person that put Donald Trump in, in the White House in November and it's Joe Biden. And nothing has changed Today, it is still Joe Biden is the one who put Donald Trump in the White House. Uh, that will be Joe Biden's lasting legacy. He put Donald Trump in the White House in the 2024 election. Make no mistake about this. Nothing has changed in, in, in the last 24 hours. Uh, my comment on, on that I left on Yahoo News uh, was trading Joe Biden <clears throat> for Kamala Harris is like trading in a set of tires with 30,000 miles on them so you can put on a set of tires with 31,000 miles on them. Okay. Uh, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, frying pan of the fire. Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, frying pan or the fire. Okay, uh, but here is my prediction that I am making on July twenty second, twenty twenty four, is that uh, Donald Trump is not only going to win the election. Uh, and he's going to win by a landslide. I think a landslide is 60-40. So he will win by a landslide. And not only will Donald Trump win by a landslide, 
it will be the biggest electoral wipeout since FDR in 1936. This will be the biggest landslide since FDR won in, uh, in 1936. Uh, Donald Trump is, it has a shit-eating grin from ear to ear this morning. This is the best news that, uh, that he has received, well, I guess since Donald Trump has received in the last 10 days. Uh, but, but, but anyway, and if Kamala Harris does quote win this election, it's civil war will be declared. We will begin civil war. Uh, the, the only thing preventing civil war at this point is Donald Trump uh, getting elected. So we are going to prevent a civil war when Donald Trump is elected. But if Kamala Harris wins, <coughs> this country will erupt into civil war. <coughs> and I will be one of the people claiming that the election was stolen. Uh, that uh, it, it, Kamala Harris going up against Donald Trump is Sancho Panza going up against, who is it, Cujo, that killer St. Bernard. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. There's no fucking way it's gonna happen. Uh, and I will be one of the people uh, reluctantly agreeing that, yes, the election was stolen if Kamala Harris wins. Ain't going to happen, but it doesn't make any difference because we're fucked. So we're going to sit here with this big distraction dog and pony show acting like there's actually a horse race going on here when uh, one of the horses in the race has three legs. <clears throat> So enjoy your distraction. I am going to try to tune out. <clears throat> and if anybody is interested, no, I will not be voting in this election. The last time I voted in an election was 1988 when I voted for Jesse Jackson. And I honestly believed uh, and, and that was just in the, you know, the primary, not the final election. When I voted for Jesse Jackson for president in 1988, I honestly thought that Jesse Jackson had a chance to beat Daddy Bush. That's what a clueless fucking moron uh, I was in 1988. I'm not that clueless fucking moron anymore. Uh, Kamala Harris is going to beat Donald Trump about as much as Jesse Jackson was going to beat George Bush uh, in, 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 in 1988. <clears throat> Ain't going to happen, and it doesn't make a fucking bit of difference. So I'm going to try to keep my mouth shut until uh, election day when I can come on here and say, Nanny, Nanny, Boo Boo, I told you so. All right, and with that, I'm going to get out there and enjoy this beautiful day <clears throat> while I still can. Bye, guys.